Welcome to the Intuitive Health Channel. I'm your Vitality Lifeguard, Heather Thatcher. Every Monday, I release a new episode, so if you're interested in learning how you can have it be easy for you to be healthy, hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you'll never miss an episode. Today, we're gonna to talk about cleanses and detoxes and if they are worth the investment. There are juice cleanses, sugar detoxes, colon cleanses, liver cleanses, the master cleanse, green smoothie cleanse, isogenics. I'm sure you've heard of at least one of these. Maybe you've tried one or two or more. But how do they work? Do they actually achieve what they say they can? There are so many different options on the market, with some being quite expensive. Some detox plans are just books, while some require some special supplements and powders, and they're so trendy right now because we're all looking to feel better, sleep better, maybe lose a few pounds, and it's so appealing because all of these cleanses promise just that. But are they worth the money? I'm going to use the words cleanse and detox interchangeably today because whether you're on a cleanse or a detox diet, your goal is the same thing. And honestly, this industry also uses both words to describe the same thing. Typically, cleanses say that they remove harmful toxins from your body. Often, they target one specific organ, like a kidney cleanse or a colon cleanse or a liver cleanse. Sometimes they go for the whole body, though. Regardless of which cleanse it is, the overall aim is to detox and make sure that you end up feeling better. And I want to draw your attention to how vague that is. None of these companies define exactly what they're cleansing from your body. Toxins. What exactly does that mean? Most of the products and books and websites don't even define what the heck a toxin is in the first place. So it's easy for them to say that it works because they aren't even sure what they're tracking. One company investigated this and they checked 15 different commercial detox products and found that none of them could say which toxins they were eliminating and none of them could agree on a definition of a detox and none could provide evidence to show that they were actually effective. And if you want to learn more about that study, I've linked to it down below in the description. From a medical perspective, toxins can mean anything from alcohol to certain foods to medicine and pharmaceutical drugs to heavy metals. It is broad. And when we look closely at those boxes or products or websites for these different cleanses, they are also super vague. The Master Cleanse, which is one of the most popular detox options, talks about how their recipes clean out the intestinal tract and wash out mucus. Gross, right? The Master Cleanse also promises to rid your body of all disease by focusing on just one ailment. This is a quote from their website. As we eliminate and correct one disease, we correct them all, for every disease is corrected by the same process of cleansing and building positive good health. The master cleanse is not alone in this. The vast majority of cleanses on the market talk about the same thing, curing all disease by cleaning out some particular part or system of the body. And I'm going to call that out right there. It is BS, 110%. I'm going to tell you why. To make this clear, I'm going to put their statement to the extreme. So according to all the promises of these cleanses and detoxing products, they say that they can help treat and cure all disease by fixing one problem. So that means that the exact same treatment for the common cold would also cure aggressive cancer. See what I mean? It is out there and not based on science at all. Kamal Patel is a well-known researcher in the science of nutrition and health, and he sums things up perfectly. This is what he said. What ties these diets together is a dual aim, weight loss plus a notion that we have built up toxins in the body, which are slowing us down and possibly killing us. So a typical cleanse, let's say of juices only, is meant to shift your intestines away from digestion and absorption and towards ridding the body of toxins. Newsflash, that is not your intestines job. Your liver and your kidneys are a very refined pair. They work in tandem to clear your body of everything that isn't helpful. They are designed to do what these boxes and supplements and recipes are all promising and they are your kidneys and your liver are doing it all on their own without any expensive product. Now, if you're saying, wait, Heather, I've tried a cleanse before and I felt better and lost weight. What do you mean they don't work? 
often these cleanses put us on a somewhat restrictive diet for a short time. Nothing but green juice for seven days, for example. All of those fruits and veggies sound awesome, right? Super healthy. Not exactly. When we restrict our diet and eliminate parts of our entire food groups, we're putting our body into an imbalance. And you know I'm all about intuitive health and finding balance in all areas of your life. So to me, it seems wrong to intentionally put your body into an unnatural, unsustainable state. Now your body's running on empty, trying to create energy from nothing, which is where your liver comes in to save the day. By doing a cleanse and putting our bodies out of balance, we are asking our liver to step up its game to maintain the energy that we need because we aren't fueling our bodies right while on this cleanse. This imbalance requires our liver to multitask, still working on a cleansing your body naturally, just like it does every day, but it's also starting to try and create more energy, which is something that it typically only does in times of stress and starvation. Sure, you may lose a little weight while on the cleanse, but that's not necessarily body fat that you're losing. Most likely it's water weight and a temporary increase in the metabolism demand of your liver. Side note, the other major downside of doing a juice cleanse is that there isn't much fiber or protein, so your body freely absorbs vast amounts of fructose sugar, which we all know vast amounts of sugar are not good for us, even if it is natural sugar. So what do we do if we want to support our body's effort to clean out our body systems and detox? It's simple and it's so tough in our world where we want something flashy, exciting, this super fun quick fix. What I'm suggesting could be a quick fix, but if we're being honest with ourselves, it's gonna take a little bit of work because the best way to support your body's own innate natural detoxification abilities is to eat wholesome, whole foods, mostly plants, and in the right balance. Not sexy, I know, but there's a reason why we always come back to this. You have to eat to fuel your body, simple as that. But we know that it's not that simple because we've learned to associate foods with specific events, certain emotions, certain experiences, and that can be tricky to overcome. And that is why I run a free five-day challenge to help you understand your triggers and associations with food. They happen a few times a year, and I would love to have you join us for the next one. The challenge is run over email and Facebook, and the videos will be available both on and off Facebook. So if you don't use Facebook anymore, don't worry, you can still join us. So if you'd like to join us for the next one, then click the little box to join and sign up for whenever the next one is starting. There's one starting very soon. And you can also find the description or the link in the description below. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. You can leave a comment below or you can reach out to me on social media. I'm found on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest at Vitality Lifeguard. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Take care, have a great week, and we'll see you next time.